Kyle on the course, Kyle on the course, Kyle on the course, Kyle on the course here. Hey, excuse me guys, how are you? You guys are out here early, bright and early. Who are you rooting for today? Um, I'm rooting for Colorado on the men's side and Michigan State on the women's. Very cool. And who's going to take the individual titles? Who do you got? Um, I got Isaiah Rodriguez from Oklahoma State on the men's. And then I got um, Andy Fuller on the women's. Just out of curiosity, uh, Dad, who's the most underrated woman in the NCAA right now? According to my wife, it's Annie Fuller. Fair, fair. All right, well, best of luck to you guys today. We hope for a good race for you guys. Hope everyone's going home happy. All right, all right, what do we got? We got some purple fans here. Furman, how are you guys? Well, doing well. Did you guys just get in this morning, or you've been hanging out all week? Uh, we've been here since last night. Very cool, and who do you guys have winning today? Furman University, of course. Yeah, very cool. And then, just out of curiosity, who won last year on the women's team side? Do you guys remember? First time I've ever been here. I have no clue. But I do know this. Yeah. You see, Furman, Furman University, F you, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, and then, final the final thing, if you could name uh, the fastest girl in Furman today, let's call it right now. Who's it going to be? Gabby. All right, fair. All right, well, we're going to go ask some other people, maybe have slightly different opinions kind of tell who's for who uh, mainly by what colors they're wearing and what team they're rooting for oh we got some old miss we got some old miss hey old miss how are you guys doing hey hey who's winning today uh we are yeah is this a, how's the weather is this going to be a factor for old miss or are you guys all used to this well, we're used to doing this we we, we run in this car we run in all kinds of weather yeah and then uh, I know we only got some parents here, but we got way more coming. How many? Uh, how many fans are from Ole Miss today? Are we going to be the biggest presence on the course, or what? Yeah. 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 Oh, we, probably, we probably got about forty coming. Hell yeah! All right. Well, good luck to you guys. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. I just heard about a cookie or something. Now, are these homemade or what? Crunchy, a lot of good, good strong pieces of chocolate in there. I'm gonna give it about a um, seven seven. All right, thanks guys. Good luck, Ole Miss. All right, so we're out here. It's freezing. A lot of disadvantages of having such a low body fat percentage, but we are good and we're gonna be out here having fun. See ya. Kyle on the course here. My hypothermia is developing well, and we're running around and we're trying to find who is from the furthest away, who's traveled the furthest to get to Terre Haute, Indiana. And I saw an Irish flag and I thought, that's either Peter Lynch's family or Eva's family. Turns out, here we are with the Lynches all the way from Kilkenny, Ireland. How are you guys? Uh, equally cold, but great to be here. It's fantastic. And what is, what is everyone's name? So I'm Alan. I'm Luke. Ashling. And this is uh, not your first time in America, but your first time. What would you guys have for breakfast this morning and where? Uh, chocolate pancakes in, what was it called? IHOP. What, a, what an American experience immediately already. All right, so you guys are right now the furthest travelers. You're here, you're in, you're out. But we're expecting big things from Tulsa today. And Peter, what are you guys expecting? Where do you think he's going to finish and where's the team going to finish? Oh, God, we're quietly hopeful and fingers crossed because... Look, he's in good shape. Coach has got the whole team in good shape, both the ladies and the men's team. So we said we couldn't miss it. So here we are. We're looking forward to it. So I actually train with Peter over the summer, uh, over the winter, Christmas. I'll see him next month over in Ireland for Kill Cooley TC. Uh, and, you know, for a free subscription to FlowTrack for the next year, this is true. If you can answer this question properly, then I'll give it to you. Over to you Luke. Who's the best hurling team in Ireland? Kilkenny. Kilkenny. Oh, wrong answer. It's actually Tipperary. I'm sorry. You're so close. Now, one more question, Dad, for you. Who is the Irish American? Uh, sorry, the Irish mile record holder. Current track. Help me out. Is it Owen Everett? Is it Owen Everett? Let me go ask 349 miler Ray Flynn who it is. Ray, it's been a while. They don't know you anymore. I know. I'm too old. Oh, man. Well, you know, there, there are some prospects there. Maybe they'll go run for Longford one day yeah. or uh, find their way down to Tennessee. 
I hope so. Yeah, it's great to see uh, some young Irish runners in the NCAA meet today. And you're just out here spectating, looking yeah. at some future prospects yeah. for Flint Sports? Yeah, yes. I'm looking for the next stars. All right, well, hopefully we can find them. Good yeah. luck. Stay right. warm. Okay. If you find anyone from Australia, that's maybe our best chance of finding someone from further away than Kill Kenny. Until then, up tip. We'll see you shortly. Kyle, on the course here, we're back. We're, we're going to ask some fans for a dollar who they think is going to win today. Let's go get some opinions. Excuse me, sir, for a dollar, who's going to win today? Team or individual? Your choice. NAU. Wrong. It was actually the fans. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. For a dollar, who's going to win today? Couldn't tell you. It's actually the fans. Yeah, sorry. Excuse me, for a dollar, who's going to win today? Ella Donahue. Oh, wrong. It's actually the fans. And the fans. Yes. yes. All right, thanks. Fans. Next time. Excuse me, sir, for a dollar, who's going to win today? Team or individual? Your pick. Um, Edwin Kerr got. Oh, so close. It's actually the fans. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. For a dollar, who's going to win today? Uh, Kevin Salvano, Notre Dame. That's such a good pick, but it's wrong. It's actually the fans. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Next time. Excuse me, ma'am. For a dollar, who's going to win today? Michigan State. Ooh, so close. It's the fans. Oh, but Michigan State's still going to win. No dollar. Sorry. Next time. Excuse me, sir. For one dollar, who's going to win today? Kalati. Ooh, no. It's actually the fans. Oh, the fans. Yeah. We're all winners. Oh, no. It, that was your second time. Yet, yeah. Next one. You'll get it next time. Excuse me, sir. For a dollar, who's going to win today? For a dollar, uh, North Carolina State women. Stanford men. Ooh, it's actually the fans. Can you believe it? No. Do I get a dollar? No, sorry. Excuse me, sir, flag men. For one dollar. Uh -huh. Who's going to win today? BYU. Ooh, would you believe it? It's actually the fans. I know. Can you believe it? Yeah, so no, okay. no dollar, you know, but good luck. Call. Good luck to well, you. You know what? It's just great to be here. Okay, I'm in this. Give me a there you go. Man. Yeah, there you go. All right, back to you guys in the studio. Unfortunately, no one knew that it was going to be the fans today. Today, we are all winners. Kyle on the course here. We're out in the parking lot, and I'm here with some very, very committed fans from Arkansas. How are you guys doing? Who do we have here? Everyone say your name on the count of three. One, two, three. Perfect. All right, so Arkansas today, you guys, I'm not going to put any pressure on you. The girls may be favorites, and it's... <laughs> Largely due to one girl. How's Taylor going to do today? Oh, she's going to kill it. Kill it. All right, so I have $20 here, and I'm trying to give away free money. So I'm going to just ask you guys some quick Arkansas facts, and if you get five questions correct in any amount of time until they tell me we got to go back to the booth, then I will give you that money. All right? Uh, just no one is from Arkansas. Okay, so when they get a lot of these wrong, please do not hold it against them. All right, Arkansas was what number state? Everyone scream out a number. 34? 25, that's one correct. What is the capital? We got two, all right. Who's the governor? All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, in terms of population, where does it rank in states? Thirty third. All right. What is the the beverage, the state beverage of choice? It's milk. What is the state food? Pecans. What is the state dance? The square dance. All right, we're going back to the booth, but quick, can I call the pigs? You heard it here first. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about Arkansas, and we're going to learn a thing or two about them today on the course. 
back to you guys in the booth. I need to get gloves.